we're going to use actionable metrics, which are about per customer behaviors, things that can be measured at micro scale. And the first thing we're going to do is establish the baseline. So now we can put the purpose of the minimum viable product on a much more rigorous per, uh, setting. Somewhere in our business plan, there is a model that says, hey, if customers behave in this way, then we'll have zillions of them over time. And we can't get into all the details of how to build those models. Of course, there's a great book coming out. You can learn all about it. Um, in the meantime, what we want to do is just figure out what are the real numbers for each of those inputs at micro scale. That's what the minimum viable product is for. So if there's some number, some spreadsheet somewhere that says, hey, 10% of customers who come to our website should register for our product, then we should have like a big banner in our office somewhere that's like, we must have 10% conversion or we die. And then we need to have a minimum viable product as soon as possible to find out what that number is today. And most likely, when you do that experiment, the baseline will be horrible. Like, it'll only be 1%, and it's supposed to be 10%. And like, oh my god. But we need to change that. We need to say, finding out the truth of where we are right now is progress. It's a milestone that we should celebrate. And then we do step two, which is we tune the engine. We make product development changes that are not designed to drive huge gross numbers, but to make those conversion numbers go from the horrible baseline to the ideal in our business plan. And whenever I've done this with teams, I've only ever seen two cases. Case one, it's supposed to be 1%. You know, it's 1%, but it's got to be 10%. So a few iterations in, it's 1%, 3%, 6%, 6.5%, 7.5%. Now, it's not 10% yet, so the model isn't exactly working, but you can kind of say, are we going to get there? Yeah, probably. You know, each thing that we do seems to drive the number up a little bit. We seem to be kind of heading in the right direction. We're split testing to make sure that the changes we're making are, in fact, driving the change. It's all good. Here's situation number two. It's 1%, 3%, 3.5%, 3.8%, 3.81%. .3 now, the numbers are going up every time. So it's not like the numbers are going down. It's not like it's zero, but you might ask yourself a question. Four, five, six months into hitting that asymptote, are we ever going to be 10%? I think it's safe to conclude the answer is no. Of course, theoretically, it is possible. The next iteration will be that magic one more feature that gets you to 10%. But in reality, that's not the case. When the team uh, gets to the point where hitting that diminishing returns, everybody knows you're not going to make it, and you enter the land of death march.